Hello and welcome to the third ever WSRB tournament, which is short for Wii Sports Resort Bowling Tournament, in case you didn't know yet. In today's tournament, however, we're not just going to do the regular five game tour four game tournament, excuse me, with five bowlers and the winner is the one who wins the last game. Instead, we're going to be doing an eliminator challenge. Now, in an eliminator challenge, we only do three games instead of four. In the first game, we, you can see we have four competitors. We have Wario, John, Nicky Roth, who joined very recently. He is a new bowler. He is from the Hello Neighbor Games. And Luigi. And um, whoever places last in an Eliminator match is eliminated from the tournament. And the other people are still in the game. And the positioning that they come in when they win the game determines what turn of order they will get in the next round. So for example, if they came second, they would be player two for the next round. So starting off with Wario, let's see what his first shot is like. Of course, of course he strikes. What else would you expect from a pro bowler? Now here's John, the only lefty in today's tournament. He also gets a strike, very well played. Here's Nicky Roth, the new guy. He's actually one of three new people, but he's the only new person playing in this tournament. If you want to see the other two people, wait for the next tournament. And now here's Luigi. Luigi gets a strike there, very nice. A tiny bit wide, but still got the strike. And now here's Wario in the second frame. All bowlers have started off with a strike. Wario with the strike streak now, two strikes in a row. And now here's John in the second. Oh no, what a split for John. Gonna use the maneuver that they commonly use to pick up the split where they hook it into the three and the nine for the three to take out the seven and the ball to get the nine. Very accurate shot, but he just didn't get it. And now Nikki leaves the four pin. Oh no! Where did all that spin come from? Oh boy. Tied with John now. Luigi gets a strike for the double. Wario and Luigi are tied, and John and Nikki Roth are tied. Gets the turkey then. Doing a good job so far. John looking to get back on the game. Oh, it's going to be wide again. A five count and a bizarre washout. Doesn't convert there. I wouldn't say that's an easy side to pick up, but not the hardest either. So Nicky Roth got a chance again, and he gets a strike back in the game. And now here's Luigi. Luigi is going to go a bit wide there, he leaves the 7. A bit of unwanted hit there, but we still got it. Wario goes inside just a tiny bit and leaves the 9 standing. Gets the spare with no problem. Gets a strike there. Nikki with the double. Really is back on the game now. Now here's Luigi in the fourth. Oh. And he leaves the six pin. Uh, the four pin, excuse me. Gets the spare. Wario goes inside, goes high, and leaves the big four. Shocking leave there. And that was just a poor attempt to convert. Only got one pin there. Double from John then. Here's Nikki in the fifth. There's your turkey. Nikki knows what he's doing. Overtaken John. Nice 
So we're just seeing some strikes now, of course. I mean, they're pros. What else have you seen from them? Apart from all their bad shots they've had so far. Amazing. Four strikes in a row from Mickey. This guy has only been on here for like a few days now. And he is doing an absolutely amazing job at it. So all players strike in sync then. It's gonna go inside. And Wario gets the four and seven there. Picks it up. And there's the fourth for John. Four strikes in a row. Oh! Unlucky right there as he leaves the force landing. Picks it up with no problem. He's actually overtaken Wario now as well. <laughs> but Luigi isn't going anywhere. He's not overtaking Luigi. Oh god. Goes high through the nose and gets lucky to have some kind of kick out there. To get the 6 and the 10 out of the way, but the 4 is still standing. So John, that's going to be really wide, but somehow it had a ton of flip on it. And almost went back into the pocket, but still the 6 is left standing. Unwanted spin there, but we still have the spare, so it's not all bad. So here's Nikini, that's not looking good. Ooh, lucky shot there, went through the nose, which is the biggest cause for leaving a split going through the nose. But he only leaves the 6 and the 10 standing, but we're going to open in the 8th. Shock. Luigi goes really wide, leaves the three, uh, the 2, 7, 8 there. Luigi's going to approach it differently. The same way that the pros tend to approach it in the real game. And he opens. Strike there from Wario. What else would you expect? Now John is actually behind Nikki, so that's all that Nikki really has to to try and back him up here. An eight count, and just like that, John will have the same score as Nikki in the eight. Is he gonna open? He is. Unbelievable. John can still shoot 200, but he needs to get two strikes and seven pins to do so. So he's on edge right now. A lot of pressure. Nikki's still good for a 200 game, though. Nice. Nikki can just get a spare and then six pins to shoot 200. Wario could get a spare and 9 pins to shoot 200, but with that strike right there, he just needs like 5 pins or something. He leaves a big split there, 4-6, very difficult. Almost converts, that was great accuracy. And Wario will finish with 208. John can only shoot 203, so he's not going to be defeating Wario anytime soon. And now the 200 game is going to get ruined, with the best that you can do being 193 now. There is absolutely no chance that John is going to be winning this. John may be the first eliminated. I mean, Nicky Roth doesn't need much, and Luigi's practically like 5 pins away from defeating him. Luigi just needs to get 6 pins to get rid of John. But Nikki's good right now. Nikki is good all day. He's got 194 scores so far, so John is practically eliminated then. And Nikki has also outscored Wario with 214 currently scored. Make it 223. It's gonna look a lot. There you go. Two strikes in a row for Luigi. I actually don't know if Luigi can defeat, can outscore Nikki. Let's see what he has now. He has 223 scores, so yeah. 
Just one pin to outscore Nikki. And he strikes out in the 10th for 230 pin. Some pretty good games bowled there. Not much to say for John. John is out, but Luigi, Nikki, and Wario have won it. So Luigi will go first, Nikki will go second, and Wario will go third in the next round. And John will be eliminated. Moving on to the next round now. We're gonna select three players because, well, John's eliminated, so yeah. So Luigi had the best score there, so he's gonna go first. Nikki had the second best, so he's gonna go second. And Wario had the second worst, so he's gonna go third in this round. Alright. Let's, let's get the game going then. And Luigi will strike in the first. After a good start. Let's see what Nikki can do. All contenders start off with a strike in the first round. Luigi with the double. Here goes Nikki. Gets the double as well. So all competitors will start off with two strikes in a row then. Very good. Strike train keeps on rolling for Luigi. Three strikes in a row. And just about Nikki as well. There's a strike for Wario. All competitors open with a turkey. Very good indeed. Showing great performance here. The strike train keeps on rolling for Luigi. That's four strikes in a row now. Oh no, that's not looking good. Oh no. Of course it has to be the newcomer. To leave a split first before any other person. All two of them. Oh, but Wario also misses a strike. And what just happened there? What happened? I guess you must have accidentally pressed the B button in frustration. And when you, you accidentally press the B button and you let go of it and the bowler actually rolled the ball down the lane. Yeah! Five strikes in a row for Luigi. Coming now, Nikki, you're in the worst position in life now. You're in last place. You can only hope that Wario doesn't get a strike here. Even though you're like two points apart. Yeah! A strike from Wario then. Now, looking for six strikes on Wario here. Gets the six pack. Nikki, oh no, he's missed it now. In the safe. Can't be doing that, especially when he's in last place. And if Wario gets a double here, it's pretty much over for Nikki. And of course, he doubles. Oh no, Nikki, Luigi just messed up his lining. But he still gets seven strikes in a row. Very well played indeed. Nice Went a little high there, and he's left the four standing. Gets the spare.
strike train keeps on rolling for Luigi. That's eight strikes in a row. Sorry if the camera is sh shaking a bit. I have no idea why that's happening. I'm not even touching it. Very focused right now. Yeah! Really on a roll right now. That is nine strikes in a row for Luigi. And the turkey for Nicky Rock. With that, Nicky would just be one point behind Wario, but Wario splits here. Even if he does get the split, he is still going to be behind Nicky by quite a few points. And he's missed it. He's missed both pins, to be exact. So that's going to be a shocker then. And it's all down to the 10th frame for Luigi. 10 strikes in a row for Luigi. Make it 11 strikes in a row. For the first ever perfect game. Yeah! Perfect game for Luigi. First ever recorded perfect game. And he's done it. Well done, Luigi. Well done. Unfortunately, though, it is not the first perfect game to ever be scored on Wii Sports Resort. No, that was actually from one of the greatest bowlers of all time who goes by the name Corey Hawk. He has actually bowled over five, I think like five perfect games now, something like that, four or five. Unfortunately, not a single one of them was recorded though, so. Yeah. But at least we got the recorded perfect game of Luigi. Also, Mario has actually scored a perfect game, and I think John has too, but just like Corey, they weren't recorded, which was a shocker. And so Nicky Roth will finish at 245. Wario is going to get eliminated either way, with a max score possible being 212. Two for two. And they will all strike out in the 10th frame. So Luigi will be going first with his first ever perfect game. I, I'm very certain that that is going to feel very good for Luigi there. And Nikki will be going second in the finals with a score of 245. And Wario is eliminated with a score of 212. Not too bad though, it's not too bad. Excellent. So now it will just go down to two players. And um, Luigi and Nikki. It's all down to this. Whoever's gonna win. This is gonna be the winner. Luigi just scored a perfect game though. So Nikki's probably gonna have a little bit of pressure on that. A strike for Luigi. And for Nikki as well. Oh, oh, what a save there. He might not have got the 7 down, but he did get the 10 down, which was a good thing because he almost left the 7-10. So a spare from Luigi then. Oh, that was awful. Goes through the middle and leaves the 4-6-10. Great accuracy there, but he didn't get it. Goes wide. Now he leaves the 710. Now he does. Throwing it with all his might, but just couldn't get it. To no one's surprise there. 
And he's gone through the middle again, and he's left a second split in a row. Once again, showed some pretty good accuracy there, but just couldn't get it. I mean, these are some difficult splits they are leaving, though, so it's no surprise that they're failing to convert them. Gets a strike then. Nikki's gonna need one if he wants to win this. And there we go. Nikki, still trading by Luigi by 10 points, can only hope for a big event to happen in this game that just absolutely crushes Luigi's chance of winning. That's all we can do right now at this point. Because we're halfway through the game. And Luigi with a double. Nikki needing the double to be returned. But he just can't do it. No matter how hard he tries, he just can't do it. That's going to be inside. And he leaves the 6, 9, 10 there. Picks it up with no problem. Nikki gets a strike. Just when he needed. That's going to be really wide. The doors are slowly opening for Nikki, as Luigi needs a double with there. Picks it up with no problem though, he's a good spare shooter. Oh, but Luke, Nikki just cannot get a strike train going. Still a strike from Luigi then. Oh my god! Another split! Once again, showed great accuracy but couldn't get it. Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened there? What happened there? I don't think I've ever seen a ball go wider than that. Oh wait, no I have, multiple times. I've seen quite a few gutters before. So that is not even close to the widest shots I've seen. Nice spare there. All right, so Nikki gets a strike in the 10th then. It's gonna be wide. Oh no! Of all the splits you could leave, and you had to leave that one. Nice shot there with the 2 and the 10, but didn't get any of the rest of it down. Now, I don't even know if it's possible for Nikki to even win this, but we'll see what happens. Because I think he's too far behind to win, but I mean, well, it's all down to whatever he gets on this shot here. And he gets a nice looking turkey there. Oh no, Nikki can still win. He's on 173 points so far. He just needs six pins to win it all. Nikki throws him with great strength. Gets eight. That will do. That will do. He wins by a mere three points. 181 against 178. Unusually low scores there, but I mean, what else would you expect if you get three difficult splits in one game? And then your opponent gets two even more difficult splits. One of them being 710. So Nicky Roth will win his first ever, well not his first ever match, but his first ever TV appearance match. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, we might actually be able to get two different tournaments in one today. We're not obviously going to record both of them in one video because, well, this is already like 25 minutes long now. So this could go on for like an hour if we do it in one whole video. So we're going to maybe do it in a separate video. But uh, we'll see you later. Have a good Christmas, everybody.